What I'm about to read to you will be posted verbatim in the video description. So you don't have to worry about having to pause and rewatch the video. You can just copy and paste the description um, if you wish to take part in this. Also, I had this up a little while back, never really got anything out of it. It's been about six or seven or eight months since I put that up, maybe about a year, I don't remember. So I'm going to try it again now that I've got a lot more subscribers and see where this goes. This is called the Jaws Challenge. And no, I'm not referring to the movie. Excuse me. If you watched my video, Windows 7 Speaks, or just simply entitled Jaws, both of these give you an overview of what Jaws is. And Jaws is a screen reader um, for Windows. Basically, it takes everything on the screen and speaks it to you. And now I'm going to begin reading what I have uh, written. And again, this will be posted verbatim in uh, my video description. So, the Jaws Challenge. About. This is designed by me to give people a chance to use their computer with their keyboard and their ears rather than their mouse and eyes. <coughs> <coughs> This is meant to be fun and an experience in accessing your computer um, if you did not have um, enough vision to adequately see the screen. Um, let's see. Another idea is that is um, that if you work at your computer all day and you get eye strain, you can turn on JAWS and turn off your monitor. Below are the instructions and rules for utilizing the JAWS challenge. Instructions. 1. Go to, and you can just copy and paste the link. Um, I will have this in the video description, so I'm not going to bother reading it. But go to the link that I provide in the video description. It would be the executable link. This will launch a... Um, this will bring up a download dialog and you know how it asks to run and save that's where step two comes in uh, number two run this file and install JAWS for Windows version 10 the talking install and audio progress indicators are normal when asked to activate the restart button do not do this with the mouse you could but that would defeat the purpose of this particular activity. This is your first uh, test. Instead, tab, uh, press tab until you hear restart button, and then press space. Step three, if JAWS comes up automatically, proceed to step four. Otherwise, perform step three, which is, you know, this step, um, which is to press and hold the Windows key and press R. This will bring up the run dialog, the Windows run dialog. Type in JAWS 10. Now you want to type this in as JAWS 10, and it's all lowercase. And then you push enter. This will start up JAWS. Step 4 a dialog will appear asking you to activate JAWS. Tab until you hear two items. The first is a the one is a checkbox that, when checked by pressing the space bar, will signal JAWS to no longer display the activation dialog. The second item is a button labeled "Run in Demo Mode" or or something similar. I can't remember the exact wording. Press space once you hear that button in order to activate it. This will initiate the 40-minute demonstration. You are now up and running with JAWS for Windows. Here are some hints. Insert plus T tells you the title of the open application. So in other words, you hold down the insert key and you push T. Or the window within the application itself. Tab and shift plus tab, meaning you hold down shift and you push tab, are your main navigation keystrokes. 
Alt plus tab switches between open applications. Control plus tab switches between tabs in dialog boxes. Insert plus one is keyboard help. F1 by itself is JAWS help, or alternatively, you can Alt you can Alt plus tab to uh, to JAWS. Press Alt to open the menu, which basically it puts put puts focus on the menu bar. Arrow left or right to help, and the, press the down arrow on that, and then press Enter on JAWS help. For additional help, JAWS help tailored at those who do not wish to navigate the built-in help system, um, you can visit the link that uh, I will post. There will be two links, one to download JAWS and the other to access help. Um, but again, you can also use the built-in help system if you wish. Conditions. You cannot use your mouse or touchpad. You cannot use your eyes. Thus, you must unplug your mouse and monitor. Well, if you don't want to unplug it, you want to turn it off. And if you have a laptop, if the LCD cannot be turned off, then you want to put it on the absolute lowest brightness possible. Wear a blindfold if you need to. Item 2. That was item 1, incidentally. Item 2. Turning, turning on your monitor, plugging in your mouse, or removing your blindfold are considered cheating. <coughs> Excuse me. As I said, this is supposed to give you a brand new experience at using your computer. And if you use the mouse while you're running JAWS, um, you know, that defeats the whole purpose of this. I mean, you'll have JAWS talking to you, but, you know, that's, um, I just consider that cheating because the way to use JAWS is with the keyboard and with your ears. It's basically just use the computer with your ears and the keyboard as opposed to the mouse and your eyes like I explained in the beginning. And finally item three is have fun. So once again this will be posted verbatim in the video description and also if anybody wants some help um, they're not and they're not willing to go into the help system and they're not willing to visit that website which Incidentally, in case you're wondering, 100% text, it's completely accessible by JAWS. Um, but if you're not willing to go in there and, 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 and do that, just email me. I'll help as best I can. I'm not necessarily a novice JAWS user, but I'm not an expert. I'm right in the middle, right in between novice and expert. So I would consider myself perhaps a, uh, a median user, so to speak. Also, I don't use JAWS all the time. If I were to use Windows as my primary operating system, I'd probably alternate between Magic and JAWS. But because I use the Macintosh and run Windows virtually, I use the uh, Macintosh Zoom utility um, most of the time. And because the magnifier doesn't run under Windows, or it, it runs under Windows 7, but the cursor disappears, and Magic won't run, which is a screen magnifier by Freedom Scientific, who are the same people that, that produce JAWS, um, I do use JAWS under Windows 7, under VMware Fusion, and um, so far, like like you've seen in the Windows 7 Speaks video, it seems to be working fine. But yeah, um, go ahead and give this a shot. If anybody has any issues, just let me know. Um, one more thing. Read the system requirements. Um, the system requirements are such that the bulk of uh, computers will be able to handle it because JAWS support goes all the way back to Windows, um, uh, I think it's either 2000 or XP, so, you know, money is tight in the low vision, in the visually impaired community, so we don't upgrade as often because of money constraints, so they have to support multiple operating systems. As such, the system requirements are not very um, heavy, but you do need to read them because I had a friend who just tried this earlier um, and their computer had issues with it. So um, yeah, go out, try it, have fun. Any questions, just uh, contact me or you can browse the help website or the JAWS help system. Um, thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and have a nice evening.